China is rolling out the red carpet for political and financial leaders from more than 50 countries around the world. It's the first time the Boao Forum is taking place entirely in person since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak. For China's new premier, it's also his first address to an international audience since being appointed as the country's second in command. We need to adhere to a common and comprehensive cooperation and sustainable security concept, oppose the abuse of unilateral sanctions and long-arm jurisdiction, oppose the selection of sides, group confrontation and the new Cold War. This event is often billed as Asia's version of the World Economic Forum, and although discussions centre around major global issues, China's message this year is focused closer to home. Right now, with the political tensions, trade tensions, military tensions that are going on, not just over Ukraine, but uh, between China and the U.S., you're going to see China trying to reach out, um, especially to ASEAN, because uh, these are countries that China has a very good uh, trade uh, with. Analysts expect China to use the forum to promote Asia as an investment safe haven at a time of global economic volatility. China is talking up its own economic recovery prospects after the end of its long-running strict COVID-19 rules. Chinese Premier Li is promising that China's own rebound can power a post-pandemic bounce back for the rest of the world. Economists are forecasting Chinese growth as high as 5.8% this year. That's up from 3% last year, one of its weakest growth rates in decades. Many foreign businesses remain cautious about doing business in China as a result of major supply chain disruptions brought on by COVID-19 restrictions and regulatory crackdowns on the private sector. There is a strong message. There will be a strong reinforcement of the state sector playing a pillaring role within the Chinese economy. And that's, in a way, a discontinuation from the Boao message that was uh, very much about economic uh, reforms, uh, private sector growth uh, in the past the decades prior to the pandemic. And so now there is a, certainly a pivot there. China wants to spark a pivot towards global collaboration too. Political leaders from Malaysia, Singapore and Ivory Coast have echoed that call with their opening speeches at the Boao Forum. Analysts say the next challenge for China is to convince the world that it should be the coordinating centre of that global cooperation effort. Richard Kimber, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.